I love the challenge of being put in a situation that pushes them to reach deep within themselves to their highest potential to figure out how to, to overcome it. So I felt like uh, the, the tomb was a great antagonist in the first one and it really, uh, uh, you were you know, at the edge of your seat seeing if he could beat the tomb, if he could figure out how to get out. So I thought that was you know, pretty spectacular. Um, I thought the whole concept of breaking out of prisons and testing its weaknesses, I thought that was really interesting. And for somebody to put themselves in that situation where they would lock themselves up with criminals and, and have to figure out how to get out. And I thought the tomb was a really interesting antagonist in the last one and, and really uh, challenged him, uh, challenged Breslin and, and his expertise and, and everything he could to get out of it. So uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really great movie. Uh, I was excited about it. I felt like it, it, it elevated it. I felt that I think Hades is, um, is definitely, I didn't think it could get rougher than the tomb, but I definitely felt that Hades was a, uh, a great next step, a great next challenge. So I play uh, Jasper Kimbrell, and um, I, I am on, I'm on Breslin's team. And uh, we work for his security firm, and we are uh, security specialists. And, and the, the, the film starts off with us getting people out of this um, hostage situation. Um, I was uh, trying to prove my design with algorithms and machines and equations to basically mathematically prevent risk. Um, and I was trying to showboat in a little way, and, and somebody ends up getting killed. And so that's where Breslin and I part ways, and uh, I never really forgive him for, for cutting me loose like that. I think the relationship between uh, uh, Jasper and Breslin is I think there is, uh, for, for Kimbrel at least, um, a father-son type dynamic. I think he really looks up to Breslin and ultimately wants his approval. And um, the whole creation of Hades Ultimately, I think what's motivating me to create that is that I just want to get Breslin's attention. I want him to see that he was wrong and that I was actually doing a good job. Um, and, you know, with the rest of the team, it's kind of that Cain and Abel relationship where he's, he sees them as the brothers that he wants to um, outperform, outshine, to, to prove that he's better than. Well, you know, it, it's interesting because I don't, I don't see it as vindictive in that way. What I, what I think is that... Um, you know, I, I think the backstory is there's obviously something going on with his father that he replaced all that with Breslin, and Breslin rejects him in a way. And I think that the whole creation of Hades is really to show him that he was wrong. I don't think, um, I don't think I really thought through what the end result of what that would be. But he's motivated by that, um, by that anger of being rejected and showing him that I, that, uh, that I knew what I was talking about and that my design does work and that it's better than anybody and it's better than yours. And so that's really uh, the motivation of, of creating Hades. Well, I, I, do, I do enjoy boxing and I enjoy BJJ. Um, and that's you know kind of my hobbies when I'm when I'm off. So uh, uh, all of that training has definitely paid off in this situation, um, <laughs> in this movie very well. I grew up um, a huge, huge Stallone fan, still am, and uh, Rocky was extremely important to me as a kid, and it's what kind of got me into boxing and and uh, and 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 really you know looking into that. But I loved. Rocky, I love Rambo. Um, I love, he did this prison movie called Locked Up. It's one of my favorite prison movies. Um, I even liked uh, Rhinestone with him and, and Dolly Parton. Uh, but when I was a kid, I couldn't, you know, I mean, I just, I couldn't get enough of uh, Sebastian Stallone. I thought he was the greatest. Um, still do. And uh, uh, working with him has been, it was surreal. And um, our first scene that we had yesterday, and, and we're about to, he's about to, we're about to, you know, have a big showdown right now. Um, yeah, right where the cameras are rolling and we went to action, I looked over and I, and I see the guy that I've been, you know, uh, has been looked up to my whole life and he's sitting right there. And uh, so that was a bit surreal at first, but it helps with, you know, our relationship on screen and the characters. So it all worked out, but, uh, but it was a bit surreal, you know, but he's a super nice guy. I mean, he's, he's really great to work with, so.
He's great. Uh, he's a really nice guy, um, uh, and, and he's an incredible martial artist. Uh, he's really quick and really agile, and he has more of a... Uh, I have more of a boxing, wrestling background, and he's more... He definitely has more uh, grace, and his movements are very precise, and he's very quick. Um, and uh, uh, so it, it's, it's been great working with him. Um, well, this one specifically, it's, uh, I mean, living out childhood fantasies. Um, the uh, action movies and the action hero that I've always looked up to growing up to, to, be, uh, to be able to be in a film with him and, and to um, be able to fight like this and struggle like this, uh, it's, I mean, it's a childhood dream to be a part of this. Yeah, we did. Um, uh, Steven and I had a conversation before coming in and I, and I explained to him about uh, the kind of father-son relationship, the Cain and Abel relationship he has with Luke and Chu and how he wants to outshine and, and gain their approval ultimately and that's what's motivating him and the rejection and then how he comes back with uh, uh, the, 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 the anger and the drive coming from that rejection that he got from them. So Steven and I talked that great length and, and we agreed with that. So uh, we had a lot of empathy for, for Jasper and, um, and, uh, and, and we feel that, you know, um, at the end it's, it's a tragic ending for, for Jasper. We didn't, but um, in hanging out with them uh, ahead of time, they're all great guys and, and we've been having a lot of fun. So. Um, that kind of dynamic of kind of getting to know each other and hanging out and being in this situation uh, uh, has really made it comfortable to kind of go into our, our work situation. Well, I like, I like the way, I like the way that Steven, I like the way that Steven moves. I like how fast he shoots because it's very, he, he's very specific. He knows exactly what he wants. He's thought it out. So it's not chaotic. Um, it seems very controlled. It seems very exacting. Uh, and he's very specific in what he wants. Um, so I really like the way that it's moving. I like moving this fast. When, when, you, when you have a capable director like Steven, um, it's, uh, uh, it, this is the best way to work.